welcome back to the channel guys welcome back to the another video and over here i am using ios 26.1 from last three days in this video i'm going to talk about the battery life performance and i talk about how these things are going on especially i want to talk about iphone 11 because many people use older iphones and i want to talk about how ios 26.1 is going on on the older iphones so without any further delay let's get dive into this video and there is a lot to talk about so watch this video until the end so let's begin this video so i will get into the settings and get into the battery section let the battery stats load and over here now on this day this was the first day when i used ios 26.1 on my this device I used for around 82% and I got 8 hours and 31 minutes screen on time as you can see. Now during this time I was using different applications like Instagram, Facebook, TapMad, I was watching a game, Threads and some other applications as you can see. Now over here I used 77% of my battery and I got almost 9 hours of screen on time. This is insane. This is really good. And during this time, I was active on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, Threads, and WhatsApp for a bit. And this is a much better screen on time, being very honest. This is really great. And at the same time, I was also active on my iPhone 11 because I wanted to test it out. So I was using my pretty much both of devices. So over here is my iPhone 11. As you can see, on the very first day when I was using 26.1, I used around 102%, which is slightly more than 100%, and I got almost 9 hours of screen on time, which is really good. You know, keep this in mind that this is an older device. This is like iPhone 16. This is a way older device, still able to achieve a really good screen on time. During this time, I was quite active on different applications like YouTube, Instagram, Brave. I was watching, uh, you know, a TV series, something on Brave. Um, so that's interesting on the next day the on very next day i used around 70 percent and this time i got almost six hours of screen on time i really appreciate it i believe this is still a really good screen on time i was also shooting you know videos as you can see i use like black magic cam i also use my camera app i was shooting in 4k 30 frames so this is also a really good screen on time over here i use around 74 percent today and i got four hours and 38 minutes I believe this is still a very decent screen on time keeping the keep this thing in mind that this is an old device and it is on the 89 percent battery capacity so i'm very much happy with how the battery is performing and how things are going on so far how is your experience is going on let me know in the comment section below now i want to talk about the performance and before sharing the geekbench score i want to talk about a very important thing i never encountered the problem that i am encountering on this iOS 26.1 with the iPhone 11 and even with the iPhone 16. Now you just saw the lag. When I go over here on this screen and I go back, there is insane amount of lag. Let me show you again. I don't know why it is happening. It is too much lag. This is really bad. And it happens on the um, iPhone 16 too. When I go over here and go back, there's slight lag. Well, there is a difference. There is a lag. I'm not sure if you're able to, you know, see it. There is definitely a lag, but a slight lower than the iPhone 11. But on the iPhone 11, the lag is insane. I This never happened. I tested so many different iOS 26 versions. Even iOS 18, iOS 17, and even before. Use so many iPhones, but never happened. This, this is bad, and they need to fix this with maybe... 26.1.1 i'm not sure but yeah this is something they need to fix and if i talk about the geek press scores scores are decent not that amazing not that good but overall decent scores over here i will share cpu benchmark cpu history it is like as you can see 3440 on a single core 8655 on a multi-core both scores are higher than the average one as you can see and the gpu metal score is also higher than the average one 27796 higher than the average one as you can see at the same point if i share the score of iphone 11 let me get into the cpu history it is 1774 on a single core as you can see and 4075 on a multi-core both scores are higher than the average one and the gpu metal score is also higher than the average one on paper scores are decent definitely not the best but decent score 
battery life is amazing but here and there i am feeling lags which is not good now if i conclude this video i'm happy with the battery life but i'm not happy with the performance i'm like it's not that bad performance but few lags are there like this is a really annoying lag and they need to fix this well this is all from this video and i hope to catch you guys in my next video until then take care peace out